So you guys, my new steaming unit finally arrived today and I just unboxed it and I'm just like going to show you what it looks like. So this is the steaming unit to my sauna, which is right here. This is my portable sauna that I literally keep standing up in my living room so that I can always just easily access it. I'll show you that in a second. It actually came with a steamer and that mug just blew up on me like a couple weeks ago. So I had to get another one. So um, this is the one that I ordered. Um, let me see who is it by. I got it off of eBay actually. So it's the iBeauty sauna steam generator. I got the two liter one. And it comes with a remote and everything. Hold on, it's behind me. So it comes with remote, but mine didn't come with a battery. So I have to go buy a battery. And it's one of those like little watch batteries um, like that. Can you see it? Okay, so yeah. But um, it. now I'm going to be honest. It took me a few minutes to learn how to even get the cap off of this thing because it was turned upside down like this. And the tubes weren't attached. And I'm just like, how do you get this thing off? But finally figured it out. It is stainless steel in the inside, which I like because the one that came with my sauna was all plastic. So yeah, it was, it was flimsy. So the way that this works, you fill it up. It has lines in it too. Like, um, let me see if you can see it. Like you can see those lines. Like, so you would fill it up with distilled water. It's encouraged that you only use distilled water and um, the lid turns okay it's hard to do it with one hand but it turns so that it locks in place right and it has like a little switch on the side and it'll beep to let you know that it's on and then there's a section for a timer and then there's a section for you to know like how how high the heat is so if i turn it on it's going to start getting hot pretty quickly but it's set to a 45 uh, minute timer. You can turn it down, of course. And then the, the heating goes all the way up to a nine. So that's the highest. And you can turn it down all the way to a one. So I love that you can kind of control the heat of this. Um, I'm gonna switch it off. It also comes with like this steamer box. And essentially how you would set this up is like you would take this and you would actually plug this into the port that's inside of your, I'll show you in a minute, that's inside of the, what's this thing called? Your sauna. And then once you get inside of the sauna, there is a port in the inside that you would hook this up to. And then the steam comes out of this box. So it kind of controls where it's coming in and out on all sides. It's not necessary that you use this. Like I could totally use mines without it. But what I do love about it is that, hold on, let me try to open this up with my, oh, my hand's ashy. Don't worry about that. <laughs> But, um, hold on. <clears throat> come on, come off for me. Okay, so it has like this little strainer thingy in here. So like you can put herbs in here. It's not going to come out. Okay, it came out. But this is what it looks like in the inside. But you can like put herbs inside of like a reusable like tea bag. And you can set it in here. And it'll steam your herbs so that you can get the benefits of those as you are doing your sauna session inside of the unit. So I think that's pretty dope. I also think that you will probably add your essential oils inside of here instead of directly into the canister, which, which is something that I would probably totally do. I would probably put them in there instead of in here. But the instruction says not to do that. So I'm assuming that I would probably just like get a wet, like I said, reusable tea bag. Um, they're made out of, they're made out of like cotton. Wet it, add my essential oil drops to the actual cotton bag. Like I'll show you, cause I think I got one. Like, let me get up for a second and show you. Cause I, ha I actually have one in my refrigerator right now for some herbs that I brew the other day. And I didn't want to throw them out because I might want to reuse them. All right, so I had to turn the lights on. But this is what the tea bag looks like. Now, this one's used and it's dark because I had elderberries in it. But this is what you would typically put your herbs in. You will want to make sure that um, you seal it up really nice so that they don't spill all over the place. And then you would just drop that into that little box that I was showing you. And then you can steam your herbs that way. If you don't want to do herbs and you want to do like essential oils, just wet the bag 
drip some of your essential oils onto the actual bag and then put that inside of that container. And then that way you can use it for uh, getting those benefits, the aromatherapy benefits in your unit while you're steaming. So that's that. So now that we've talked about the box a little bit, and I've kind of shown you how that is set up, let's talk about the steamer. Okay. So, I mean, not the steamer, the sauna. So I bought this. Well, I didn't buy this. This was gifted to me a couple years ago as a birthday gift from my parents. And obviously, as you can see, I use it as a storage space when I am not in it. So let me take this stuff out. All right, so it's all cleared out, and this is what my sauna looks like. It's pretty big. Um, you can technically put a chair inside of here, sit in it, and then zip yourself all the way up. This is the little port that was in the inside where I said that the stuff would just come out without having to use that box, but I could totally just hook up my hose to one of these outlets and let it do its thing if I wanted to. And then this is the port on the back of it where you would just put the, the tube in so that the steam can get in there. Now, how do I use my thing? I don't actually put a chair in here. I literally get my whole butt in here. <laughs> I'm about to turn the camera. Hold on. And I look a hot mess, so don't even judge me. Actually, I'm about to put my hat on real quick because your girl... Is looking real rough let me find it hold on all right so we back in action I had to put my head on because your girl my hair is such a hot mess right now and I'm I just couldn't get on this camera looking like this but I am inside of the sauna and literally I zip myself up like all the way up in here so as you can see like that's the top of it and I'm just chilling in here. Like, it's pretty spacious for one person. And I just sit in here. I let the steam just get me, right? So, it's steaming everything. I also get in here fully unclothed. And one thing that I do want to talk about as far as, like, the water. Like, what do you do with a uh, fluid buildup? So, I'm about to show you how I set my, my tent up before I even get in there. So, hold on. All right, so how do I prepare my tent before I get in there? So you're going to need a towel. So what I do is I just take a towel and honestly, I use white towels for everything just because I like white and I like being able to bleach them and keep them clean that way. But I literally lay a towel down and then that's what I sit on. I also bring like a cloth, like a washcloth in with me as well. So I can like keep my face wiped off because you will sweat and your nose and stuff will be running a lot. So I like to keep that with me. I also bring like water in there with me so that I can stay hydrated. But one thing that I want to talk about is like after you do your steaming, you will notice like if you do use a white towel, you'll be able to see all of the dirt and stuff that has come out of your pores on the towel. And you'll be like, OMG, like even after just getting straight out of the shower, you'll be able to see it. And then after I get out, what I do is I use that towel that I set on and I literally kind of just like wipe down the sides to capture all of the moisture and then I keep it open so that it can dry and then I'm good. I haven't had any issues with mold with this thing, but that is because I take precautions to wipe it down and to dry it up and then I keep it open so that it can completely be exposed to some fresh air so that it does dry out. Um, what else do I want to mention? Well, let's talk about cost and setup. Oh, because that's one thing that I didn't mention. So let me actually flip this back over. So as you can see, this thing is set up with a, a plastic like frame. It was a uh, it wasn't hard to put together, but it definitely isn't easy to keep taking it down and putting it back up. That's why mine's is literally set up and I just have a home for it in my living room because my apartment isn't that big for me to have a whole, you know, dedicated space for this. So 
I literally just keep it up. I don't break it down. And like I said, I use it to store stuff when I'm not in it. But um, definitely make sure that you keep the stickers on these or at least keep your instructions so that you can remember how to set it up if you do break it down because some of it isn't always common sense and it has like a lot of little pieces. Um, but it's kind of, it, it is very sturdy or whatnot. Mine doesn't have pockets though, but it does have like little spots for your arms to come out. But like I said, because I sit all the way in mine, I don't need it, but that's that. Now, the last I talk about is cost. Like how much does one of these types of units cost? Um, should you have one? And honestly, I think everybody should have a steam sauna or an infrared sauna in their home. I opted to get a steam sauna because I am someone who already has like a dry constitution or body type. So I knew that something that had moisture would be more beneficial to me than something that has a lot of dry heat. So that's why I chose to go with a, a steam sauna. If you are someone who has more of a wet constitution naturally, then you would want to get maybe an infrared sauna. Now, when I say constitution or body type, I am literally talking about like Ayurvedic body types. You guys know that I am a huge fan and teacher of Ayurveda. Um, if you've never heard of it, I highly recommend that you visit my website. Um, I do have a section where I talk about Ayurveda on there. I'll post the link below this video, but you can totally learn what your body type is and it'll help you to decide, you know, which type of sauna will be best for you. Now, moving on, let's talk about the cost. So if I recall correctly, I think my steaming unit and sauna came to a total of like a hundred and like. 20 or 30 something dollars they came together so it was a set so you don't have to buy them separately and like I said it was a gift to me and I had it for about two years for real before I started having issues with the steaming uh, unit but I think it was a part of my uh, user error I, I was cleaning it with the citric acid solution and I was leaving it in there for days at a time and I think it started to eat away at the bottom of the steaming unit. And then water started like trickling down to the heating element. And that mug kind of like blew up while I was in the middle of doing a steaming session. And I had to get rid of it. So that's the only reason why I had to replace it with a new unit. But outside of that, the one that I have, I do highly recommend. And I think it's worth the purchase. And the fact that you get both the steaming unit and the sauna together it's a dope deal. So I'll post a link to the one that I have and um, I'll post the price, the exact price here as well so that you know, but I do think that everybody should have one, especially if you are someone who suffers from like coldness all the time. Like you could totally do a steam sauna to help warm your body up. I think they are great for people who also suffer from dry skin um, and always just being dry. It helps to add moisture back to your skin and your hair. And then it's also a great way to like invigorate circulation and to also move your lymphatic system, which is your body's internal sewer system. So it helps to like expel toxins through the skin. It helps you sweat stuff out, especially if you're sick, like it's going to help raise your body temperature and help kill bacteria and viruses. And again, expel stuff out of your pores. So I think it's an amazing tool that everybody should have in their home. And I freaking love my sauna and I'm definitely about to get in mine right now to give it a test to see how this new steaming unit works. But outside of that, you guys, I kind of feel like that is it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao.